start um i think i'm gonna start with the interior because i have to drive somewhere else to the exterior i don't want y'all know where i live at i don't want y'all know where i lay my head at i'll go try and come get me so anyways we're gonna start with the interior all of my car customizations i got off of amazon so you see the juicy couture yeah don't mind this here this is just tape because i got my windows tinted and they had a little thing over it and i took it off and i just haven't wiped it off yet but yeah so this is my steering wheel love her all of this customization i did myself i got that off of amazon um i got this 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 and this off of amazon they all came separate um i just like bling personally so that was really fitting for me and then over here we have my screen which i'm going to get into for a little bit of time but yeah i got these borders for my screen but i got them for the wrong model and therefore they're a little like you see here a little too short for my screen so i'm gonna replace them but yeah yeah so here are the cameras there's a camera on the front back side and side they have the dash cam option on my car so i can like you know take videos in case anything ever happens which let me tell you Not even 24 hours of having my whip i was on the side of the road talking about some well, hello roadside assistance okay so basically i'm driving right dude in front of me driving truck he whipping cool right Rock's kicking out the back of his truck. Rock hits the road in front of me. So I bump over this car or this rock. And mind you, everybody around me, he's kicking out multiple rocks. So everybody around me is, dum, 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 you know, hitting these rocks. And so long story short, I blew out both of my front tires um, within like 14 hours of having my car. Or using my insurance. So, um. yeah it's been interesting owning a car so basically it has a charge thing here so instead of saying like oh this many miles that many miles it says charge but i can go to driving settings and i can somewhere oh i can change it to distance so right now it says 121 miles but i prefer it on energy just because you know personal reasons and so we also have the music center here right now i have it hooked up to my phone he said it says sierra's iphone yep great song 10 out of 10. it has radio stations it's got streaming streaming what does that mean hmm. okay it's got spotify which i'm connected to my spotify account here it has oh I didn't know I had karaoke in my car. Yeah. Apologize, y'all. I really apologize. I'm really clowning this hoe. Tune in. Oh, I think this is like radio or stuff like that. Anyways, you have audio settings here. You know, I got that bass boosted. Um, if you have any suggestions on audio, maybe you can. Oh! Ooh. What does this mean? It means the audio's here. I'm not gonna play with that right now. Anyways, next feature, where was I? Like I said, cameras. Here we have the option for the windshield wipers. And then we get to the, this here. So this here, call people here. I can hook up my calendar so I can see what you know, what I got going on type shit. I mean, type stuff, type stuff. <laughs> here it shows my 95 mile of range. Yeah. Cause, oh, that's because I don't be going nowhere, no for real. But here it shows our energy usage, etc., etc. If we start a trip, it'll provide the energy consumption for that. Um, charging right now, my car is 55% charged. Um, you're supposed to charge your car at home instead of supercharging it, but I've been supercharging my car, which is really bad for Teslas. But I don't move for a few weeks, and that's when I'll be able to use my charger at home. So I'm kind of homeless right now for charging, but you know, it is what it is. Then we have here the web option. I can literally go 
out. I don't know how to get it off of the screen because my mom had looked up something. And let's see. <gasps> Hold on, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, so I have internet. Damn. Okay, you know what? Never mind. <sighs> so there is internet on my car. Like, I can look up stuff online. So yeah. I just didn't have the time right now. But ne next, we have Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, Twitch, and Tesla tutorials. I will definitely be streaming out the whip. Follow me on Twitch. You already know what's got going on. You're already here on YouTube. Follow me on there. Or subscribe, of course. Here we have the arcade where I have all these games I can play. Um, I've been playing this game because this game you can control with your steering wheel. So I be, you know, I be, I be whipping while I'm park charging my car or whatever. But here are all the games that they offer. I like it. And then here's my favorite part. It's the toy box. It has like a little thing where it's like you can fart like if someone sits in your seat you can make it sound like a fart noise so hold on ain't that childish yeah so that's that um this is let me find out i'm about to be a soundcloud rapper you can do record your next audio masterpiece at instruments tempo yeah album on the way album on the way and then here's romance mode you can get cozy i think this shit is so f i mean the stuff is so funny i'm just in the car on a date like you come here often you know fire blowing it makes the car warm mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you would here we have the sketch pad um we can draw this turns your driving screen into Mars. This turns your car into a sleigh. And this turns your road into like a little rainbow, which is kind of cool. I like it. I like it. And then here we just have air controls. I like the air controls because you can control how the air comes out. You can control if you want it, you know, a certain way. Because not everyone wants their air blown in the same spot. And it is hot in here. So I did turn that up. You can put it on dog mode, which I think is super cool if you leave your dog in the car. I don't have a dog, so... You can camp in your car. Um, they have seat heaters. And then obviously your defrosters and your audio settings here. Here I have my charger. I got a 10 foot charger just for my car. I got, sorry, I got little liners for my car for all the little interior thingies, just for good measure. But I'll start here. This is a wireless charger, so I can put my phone here. My phone's going to charge. I open this up. I have, damn, my wallet. I was looking for this. No joke, I was looking for this. No joke, I was looking for that. Anyways, here I have two masks for good measure. I have some air fresheners and just some miscellaneous stuff from when I was setting things up in my car. In this console here, um, I have salt and pepper shakers <laughs> because I do eat out a lot. I have some gum and I have a little um, chapstick because we don't have dry lips around here. All this cordage here is I installed my own LED lights, which are really pretty at nighttime, which I will either insert a video or a picture here. And then here I have gum. That's about it. And then once again, more liners for the inside of my car. Second um, passenger seat here. I like it a lot. I honestly, the whole car. First of all, let's talk about this roof. Let's really get into the roof because yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you open the door, like you press here, and it, hold on, and it opens up. So this is the back seat of my car. I have this here. I have little liners, but I don't know. I guess, um, <sighs> you know what? It's not even that serious. It's not even that serious for real. But this should come up glass all the way around, which is nice, which is nice. Seat pockets back here. All that good stuff. This is actually my first time in the back seat of my car. But yeah, it's actually really spacious back here. I have this car vacuum on the floor because I bought a car vacuum for my car. This is the front of her. I named her Tessie. Yeah, yeah, love her so much. This is what's called the front. I put, I bedazzled this logo as well, which basically stands for front trunk. Um, I have a tire repair kit in here and also a Thunder 21 bag, which I didn't take get out of my car. This thing, one thing I don't like about it is it takes forever to close. Like, I don't understand why, but it's fine. 
here we have the side of my car. I have 5% tents in the back and then 15 in the front because in California, you're only allowed to have 30% or lighter. But I figure, you know, if I'm gonna go to jail, I might as well go to jail, you know? And the fine's only like 250, so whatever, fine. But that's with the handles on all sides. And I like it because it's like a pearlescent white. You feel me? I learned yesterday, I don't know anything about cars, but apparently these are hubcaps. And underneath them are really pretty wheels, but I'm not changing them out because I kind of like what I've got going on here. Once again, the other side, I also have bedazzled handles on both sides of my car. I similarly also have the back windows tinted. Now, when you open up the trunk, here they have a charger for the car. So whenever I move, I'll be able to charge my car. I have a repair kit back here. And yeah, so that's her. Hey YouTube, so it is a whole other day. I realized I forgot to close out the video when I was editing it, so I was just like, yeah. Let me do that. So I kind of wanted to talk about how I was able to buy my dream car at 19, because you know, most people are like, damn, like, what are you doing? I do not have an OnlyFans, although it is not bad if I did. Let's just say that right there. I feel people bash sex workers unnecessarily. But no, I do not have an OnlyFans. <laughs> Um, it is not my parents' money. Um, I actually trade options in the stock market, which I honestly changed my entire life. As we can see here, yes it did. But um, I trade options in the stock market, so that's how I was able to purchase this car by myself at 19. I, when you know COVID hit and everything, I got a stimulus check from my mom. Well, government, I guess, $1,400, right? Put it in the stock market, I made, I'm not gonna say how much I make I don't need your pocket watching me but just know I could buy this car over and over like I really changed my life so I do recommend options trading like I feel like that's something that's really great to get into and even if you don't do it full-time me I do it full-time I guess I wake up at 6 30 stock market opens at 6 30 I'm back sleep by seven like the fact that I'm able to wake up make a thousand dollars go back to sleep ten minutes yeah 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 i love it so sorry i saw somebody i didn't like but <laughs> sorry sorry but so yeah that's how i was able to buy a car at 19 by myself um you also have to have really good credit and hopefully a credit history because that was the main issue with me getting my cars i didn't really have a long credit history because i had just recently got my credit card so i had to wait a little bit longer to be able to have that established history but if you play your cards right, like me, I started with the Discover student card. And so right now my credit score is, it was at the time of purchasing my vehicle, it was like 770 something, maybe 780, which is really great. That's damn near $800 or not $800, 800 points. But then getting the car knocked my stuff down to like low 700s. But it's really great to have that platform. So make sure you have a really high credit score beforehand. So that way it will take your credit score down when you buy a car. So, um, I don't know what I was saying. Oh, yeah. So then also, I did not buy my car outright because I wanted to use the car as a means to build my credit score up some more. You know, I want a perfect credit score. So the car was $44,990. You put down, what, $30,000. So that way your monthly payments are very little. You put down enough to where it's just like your monthly payments are like whatever, you know? Because I felt like if I bought the car outright, okay, cool, fine, whatever. But it's like, if I have the money to buy it outright, why don't I just put down less? save that money and just use it for car payments and build your credit up maybe i'm wrong maybe that's not the right way to go about it but uh that's how i went about it so <laughs> yeah um wow you know what's crazy is i i really look around and i'm like i can't believe i've done this and back to what i do in order to be able to purchase this car i've been trading options since march march of 2021 and it's what it's about to be september that's like six, six, seven months. Six, seven months I was able to do all of this. I'm proud of myself. And what's crazy is like people were always just like, oh, like I don't think you're gonna be able to make money off doing that. I don't think I could be able to do this. Look at me now. Look at me now. Look at me. 
but yeah that's really all i have to say if you do have any questions make sure to message me personally i will definitely try to get back and answer them um make sure to like comment subscribe i hope you guys liked her because i love her i named her tessie by the way you know stereotypical like you know my bestie and a tessie yeah yeah that's me that's me so anyways make sure to like comment and subscribe um I will see you guys next time.